What is going on today, YouTube family? I hope y'all are having another good day. Bringing you guys a diesel vlog today. A very informative video. Um, real quick, couple things. I'm repping my MDC diesel hat that they sent me out. Thank you very much. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who watch these videos in, I want to say, segments or little chunks, okay? So I know I got... I got the I got the every day every time a video is out I got those viewers that see those videos every single time so they always are on the scoop with the channel and then I got the viewers who you know they, they they'll pop in maybe once a week every other week to see what I'm you know what's new on the channel uh, so when I do things like mention something more than once like for example the discount code for if you want to get a turbo uh, second gen swap or direct bolt in turbo for your vehicle and if you use the discount code everything diesel you'll save a hundred dollars off your order uh, if you order through MDC diesel performance or just MD MDC diesel I'm bad um, yeah I want to put that out there because one you're saving money two you're getting a good deal on a turbo kit three tax season is coming along around the corner uh, even though the government is shut down eventually we will get our money back so treat yourself to a turbo you know if, especially if you've been wanting one especially if yours is about to go out or you know it's bad hey man this is the best way uh, I'm trying to get out there to you guys to be able to save some money uh, people I've been telling you man ever since the second gen swap happened I'm telling you my phone has been off the hook uh, it's been blowing up in the past but it's like times two now I'm, I'm telling you guys uh, people are always asking me how do you like the turbo you know all this stuff and you know every now and then I don't want to be rude or anything but I'll just be like you know I got a video talking about the reactions of the turbos and whatnot so it's just one of those things you know what I'm saying? but enough of that um, we're gonna roll right into this video talking about why you need to run lubricants or why lubricants are so important on a diesel okay uh, you guys know I have the 6.7 Cummins but running uh, running additives is a very 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 good way to ensure longevity of your truck okay so we got the Cummins back there I hooked up the exhaust finally so I know I no longer have a obnoxiously loud cab drone um, and it actually helped a little bit I believe my back pressure was either too low or it had to been too low because it was just a downpipe and that was it uh, when I hooked up the full exhaust uh, I definitely noticed a a little bit a little bit better spool up on the low side uh, coming from a stop so I definitely think that helped out a good bit but um yes back to the lubricants so should you run lubricants in your diesel truck absolutely a hundred percent without a doubt you need to be running lubricants in your truck okay why because check it out <clears throat> your diesel nowadays 2018 diesel fuel is uh, is we're gonna keep it simple. It's watered down, okay? Uh, it's something called ultra low sulfur diesel uh, that came out by the government back in like 2007-ish, around that time frame, mandating that all diesel vehicles have a sulfur rating of, I believe, no higher than 15 ppm, which is parts per million of sulfur, uh, compared to what it was previously, which I actually don't know, but I know it was higher than that. Um, by doing that, pretty much sulfur is once again we're gonna keep it down so sulfur is like a lubricant for diesel fuel uh, it helps it combust better it just helps it burn more efficiently I'm not gonna say cleaner because te technically it would burn more black but uh, anyways it's what helps fuel be diesel fuel be what it is okay uh, as you guys know diesel engines have a higher com compression ratio than uh, gasoline engines do so they make so much more compression um, that it needs that fuel in there that good high sulfur that high quality fuel in there to be able to combust and burn efficiently now obviously with the engines and technology upgrading there's been ways to get around needing that high quality fuel but nonetheless it is still good for your diesel engine okay so I have two products that I'm gonna show you that I have personal experience with that I have no problems with and I, they're highly recommended and I love using them but I'm gonna talk about them for a little bit okay alright so here on the left we have Lucas fuel, uh, Lucas fuel stabilizer, uh, upper cylinder lubricant, and on the right we have Amsoil diesel all-in-one. Now this one, I'm still new to the game, man. I've been using it probably for about, I'd say about eight, ten months now. Um, but the Lucas one, I've been using that since I was in high school on all my cars. I actually have this because I've run that in my old school caddy. 
but this is some good stuff uh, why do I have this out here when we're talking about diesel because you can use this on gas or diesel and it's a hundred percent safe I actually used to run this before I started running AMSOIL all in one uh, I'll talk about the benefits running this over this but right off the bat you can get a hundred gallons of treatment in this one bottle the bottle right here costs about 10 bucks at the Walmart part store wherever it's at uh, this stuff is really good it's going to lubricate your fuel components, so your injection pump, your rail, your uh, fuel rail, your injectors. It's going to make the, it's going to just make it flow better. Okay, it's going to save your uh, fuel pump as well. So always the lubricant is good. I, I try to get, get it in at least every fill up. Um, a full tank of fuel, based on my driving, how I drive weekly, it's going to last me about two weeks. So yeah. All right, we had to come inside because it is extremely windy outside, and it's like 25 degrees, so it was horrible. I'm sorry if it was windy on the camera, uh, but back to Lucas, all right? Now, you guys know I'm an Amsoil fanboy. I got Amsoil out, so today originally I was going to do the oil change on the truck, but the weather is just so bad, I don't want to be out there. Uh, I hooked up my downpipe, or I hooked up the exhaust today, and I was miserable out there underneath the truck. I mean, it's so windy, cold, my hands were getting hard and, and stiff don't want to be out there so I'm bringing you guys a, a, an informative diesel vlog now for Amsoil you guys know I'm an Amsoil fanboy okay uh, I love this stuff because guess what it works uh, anybody who likes something that works as advertised and is good quality and does not support it then I mean you know to each his own but I will put my name on Amsoil and vow for them because it, it really is a good product now things you get out of this versus this and Lucas you don't get You'll get the clean, it'll clean your fuel, it'll lubricate, you don't get the anti-gel, and I'm pretty sure you don't get the cetane boost, okay? So this is going to be more for cleaning, lubricating. Um, if you already have an optimized fuel system, you've always added stuff to your truck, you've always had clean diesel in it, you know, change your filters all the time, then this, you don't have to run out and grab this, okay? But, why, you might be asking why did I switch, well I'll tell you what, I've used the Amzo Diesel All-in-One, the Amzo Cetane Booster, and I've used the Amzo Fuel, I think it's like the Fuel Injector Cleaner, or I forgot what it's called, but I've used all of them. This one is my favorite because guess what, it has all of this, okay, especially up north, right here, anti-gel, okay, and you get Cetane Boost. Now, Cetane Boost is pretty much, I'm not going to say it's like Octane and Fuel, where the higher the Octane rate and the better, but pretty much Cetane is what is what how do I say it pretty much it's like how diesel combusts okay so the more points in cetane in terms of diesel fuel the better it's gonna burn the better it's gonna combust it's gonna be more efficient if you can increase the cetane numbers in your diesel fuel that is always a good thing okay um, I love this stuff you guys know I have an Amsoil dealer Adrian who I go through for all of my Amsoil products he usually gets me stuff out to my house within two days if I make an order with him or something like that and like always his info is always going to be down below in the description box. So, with that being said, I love running this stuff. Uh, I've done a review in the past of it. I know somebody said they want another review uh, now that the turbo work is all situated. I do plan on still making a all-in-one uh, review. So, you know, that's that's how I feel about it. But either way, the reason why I have something like Lucas out. One is because I've used it in the past, but also you guys know me. You guys know I'm not uh I'm not gonna force something onto you guys. I'm not gonna be like, oh use Amsoil, use Amsoil. That's I love Amsoil. You got it. I don't want to be like that with you guys. I want to be a hundred percent blunt, transparent, and unbiased. Okay. This there's nothing wrong running this stuff in your truck. Why? Because guess what? You can go to your local parts store, Walmart, and you can pick you up a bottle. Okay, I think Walmart right now you can get the best deal where it's like $9.99. Um this is something over the shelf you can get. This right here, if you want this, you can get this online. Uh, if you have an Amazon dealer, or you can go through my guy. Uh, this stuff right here, I don't remember how much it runs for. I think a bottle's like nine ish, twelve dollars. I know Adrian will probably correct me down down below. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this stuff is good. Now, in terms of other added additives or you know treatments you can use, I know that uh, Howes Diesel is another good one. Howes or Howie's Diesel, that one's a good one. I ran that in my Power Stroke uh, before I sold it, and that stuff you get a lot of it. You get, I think it's like 32 ounces for like 12 bucks at Walmart. That's another good one that you can run in your truck. Uh, Basis, you know, base of the story is that you need to run a diesel additive, even two cycle oil. Okay, I actually 
ran two cycle oil in my in my six seven Cummins, and it it, it definitely helped. Uh, there's tons of testing from laboratories and oil companies where they test different lubricants, and believe it or not, uh, two cycle oil I believe did better in terms of lubricating than. I can't think of it. I don't know if it was like Chevron or one of the other brands out there, but they actually did better in terms of lubricity increasing it on your uh, on for diesel fuel. So there's a lot. There's tons of research out there. There's tons of information out there. But basis of the story is you guys run a diesel additive in your fuel. It's going to save your truck. It's going to save your injectors, your fuel pump, your fuel injection pump, your rail, your uh, fuel rail. It's going to save all your fuel components. The concept is the more lubricated your diesel fuel is the smoother it's going to flow and the better it's going to burn okay and with this cold weather out here this is perfect time to have good combustion because it's cold we got that cold air coming into our engines I mean I was driving on the road I gave it a little tap tap and next thing you know suck the air in and boom you know uh, but yeah you know it's, it's, it's definitely it's highly recommended alright um, you know if you ask me what's the best out there or my personal opinion as of right now I'm sticking with AMZO because I've, I've been using them. Uh, I know Chad Myers, 73, likes to use a Hot Shot brand, Hot Shot Station brand. They make a bunch of additives and boosters and stuff. They make good products as well. Uh, the whole purpose of this is not to knock any companies down, but it's to bring the information to the people, to inform the people, okay? Um, you guys know I like to keep it 100% real with y'all, and this is a way that's going to save your truck, you know what I'm And then that goes to my next point, or probably my last point. I get a lot of people who message me. Uh, they're always asking, hey man, uh, I just want my truck to last, you know, I'm not trying to get it, I'm not trying to make a bunch of power, I just want it to last, be reliable, I don't want to blow a head gasket, I don't want to shit the trans, you know, what should I do, and I'm telling these guys, these engines, these Cummins, you don't have to do much, you really don't, change your fluids, keep a good filter in there, and driver, okay, uh, obviously, key number one, is you want to run a synthetic oil in these trucks, I know, I know, a lot of y'all probably gonna jump down in the comments and be like, I've been running Rotella conventional or Valvoline or whatever. If that works for you, it works for you. But in today's society, synthetic oil has advanced so much that it, it, it's, I don't even know why they still sell conventional oil on the shelf, probably just to save money. But synthetic oil is truly the way to go. I mean, it lasts longer, it doesn't burn off as easily, and it start, it's better during cold cold periods. It doesn't gel up, it doesn't gunk up, which means it's going to be easier when you start your vehicles in the morning when it's cold because the oil is going to be able to flow up to the top of the engine, it's going to be able to go to your turbo, and it's going to be able to do what it needs to do, which is protect. And synthetic oil is going to have a better film protection in terms of metal on metal components and wear. So it, it's a no-brainer, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video is informative. I'm going to show you guys real quick the downpipe connection I did because uh, I think it, look, it looks kind of cool that way you know if you guys have the same issue where you need to connect your exhaust you can see how I did mine. So we're down here all I did was got two band they're called butt clamps uh, I got one five inch and I got one four inch I got these off of Amazon you down here you can see the downpipe wrap it's doing good this little clamps holding on so far you guys uh, it's doing good but that's what I did. So you guys know that I had a, uh, I got a reducer or an expander. So this is a four inch MBRP, four inch to five inch uh, coupler. I got the butt clamp here, four inch butt clamp. And I got a five inch butt clamp, clamped it down. And uh, exhaust is fully hooked up. So we got the four inch down pipe going to the five inch, back to the axle dump back there. So I just wanted to show you guys that so you can see what it looks like. And you guys, it would not be a complete video if I didn't do a startup for you guys. Now this is not a cold start, it's just a good old start. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I enjoyed talking about this. Uh, let me know down below if you guys want more videos like this, diesel vlog videos where I talk about different components of the engine. 
Uh, if you, there's a video you want me to talk about, um, let me know. I will be more than happy to talk about something like that. Um, I love videos like this personally when I'm on YouTube watching informative videos because it, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better. Uh, it's going to make you a better owner. It's going to make you a better operator. You know what I'm saying? And, and that goes for all aspects of life. Uh, so definitely, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the channel is moving though. We sold the old turbo on the truck, the HE351VE. <sighs> that was a lot. We sold that, um, sold for 400 bucks. So guess what we got? Head stud money. So we're going to be ordering, or not ordering, but I'm going to be getting some head studs off of uh, this cat that had an extra box lying around in his house. So be on the standby for a head stud video because uh, it's going to happen. Um, we're also going to be upgrading camera equipment because I finally am moving into the modern day, you know, 2019 uh, video scene. So we got, if you don't keep up with this shit, then don't worry about it. But we got Adobe Premiere, which is a video editing software. I'm going to be looking at getting a new camera. So if you guys have camera recommendations for vlogging or making videos, please drop me a link down below. Uh, Amazon, whatever, I don't care. Uh, let me know what I, I should get or what would be a good camera because right now, it's time to upgrade the channel. Uh, I do plan on getting the drone as well, so I want to bring you guys more content. Uh, I noticed if there was a flaw in 2018 that I had with the channel is that I did not have a lot of driving videos of the truck. Um, I do want to intensify that this year, 2019, uh, with the truck scenes and being at truck meets and stuff like that. I definitely want to increase the content so you guys can see the truck driving. You know, I feel like it's kind of like a teaser when I make all these videos of what I'm doing to the truck. But you guys don't really see it drive, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you guys love that one video where we went driving with the new uh, S4 C7 Turbo. Where And also, if you didn't see that video, check it out, please. But you guys seem to really enjoy that stuff. So I want to definitely keep bringing content like that to you. But like always, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tap that like button on the videos. Make sure you comment down below if you enjoy the video. You know, comments, recommendations, all that fun stuff. Uh, make sure you're following the Instagram channel, everything underscore diesel. And one more thing, make sure you use the promo code Everything Diesel, no space, if you want to save 100 bucks uh, with MDC Diesel for a new turbo for your truck. So until next time, you guys take it easy. Be safe. Peace out. Have a good week. Happy MLK weekend. Brian Little. <laughs>